How you guys doing? This is Zach again, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the rotors, pads, and front calipers on your E36 or E46 3 Series. Went ahead and ordered a new set of front rotors, front pads, and a replacement caliper. I also ordered up some racing blue brake fluid to flush out the entire brake system. The tools required for this job include a 14mm open-ended wrench, a ratchet with 16mm socket, a flat-headed screwdriver, pair of needle nose pliers and a six and seven millimeter allen key or T40 Torx. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the anti-rattle clip. Just simply place a flathead screwdriver against the hub, pry forward and remove the clip. With the wheel turned all the way to the right Remove the dust cap off the back of the caliper and using a size 7 Allen wrench or Allen key, remove the caliper guide bolts. Now, using a flat headed screwdriver, pry the caliper to force the piston back in. This will make removing the caliper off the rotor a lot easier. And also remove the rubber cap holding the brake wear sensor in place. Now remove the brake wear sensor off the back of the strut, the body of the car, open the electrical contact box, and remove the plug. Using a 14 millimeter open-ended wrench, we're going to break free the brake line from the caliper. Now remove the caliper from the rotor and spin free the caliper from the brake line, making sure you have a drain pan underneath to catch any brake fluid that may start dripping out. Using a 16 millimeter socket, remove the caliper carrier from the hub. Now using a T40 Torx, or appropriate Allen head, Break loose the retaining screw off the front of the hub. And remove the rotor from the hub. Now install your new rotor on the hub face and use the old retaining screw and T40 Torx or comparable Allen wrench. Now going back to the old caliper, remove the dust boot that's covering the bleeder valve as we'll use this on the new caliper. Now with a set of needle nose pliers, pinch the brake wear sensor at the top, gently rotate back and forth, and replace into the new brake pad. With a new caliper, replace the bleed nipple dust boot and remove any protection plugs that may be on the replacement caliper. Thread the caliper back onto the existing brake line. You may need to use the 14 millimeter open-ended wrench to hold the brake line in place as you continue to tighten on the caliper under the line. Now replace the caliper carrier back onto the steering knuckle. And then tighten down with your 16 millimeter socket. Now take your new brake pad and coat the areas which will contact the metal with anti-seize or other anti-squeak lubricants. 
I'm rubbing the anti-seize on where the, the piston ring meets the back of the caliper just to make sure it doesn't s squeak. Now replace the outside edge brake pad onto the caliper carrier and thread your brake wear sensor through the top inside hole of the caliper. Slide the rest through and lock your pad into place. Now slide the entire caliper assembly onto the caliper carrier. Using a 7mm Allen head, tighten down the caliper guide pins. Now replace the two dust covers on the caliper guide pins and lock down your brake wear sensor line on the dust cover boot and finish by rerouting your brake wear sensor wire clipping to the strut the body of the car and reconnecting the electrical connector inside the electrical box Now replace the anti-rattle clip by placing the ends onto the caliper carrier and pushing from the center until it locks onto the caliper.